Hey guys, it's Mr. Decker once again, and we're looking at code.org, the computer science discoveries curriculum, and we are in unit three, the animation and games unit, looking at lesson 14. We have a mini project to complete, and we're going to make an animation by the time we're done with this. All right, it says on bubble one here, it's time to try out an animated scene. Take a look at this example and think about what you'd like to make. All right, let's run it. Okay, so what kind of music do planets sing? We've got this little alien shaking around, Neptune's flying up there <laughs> with the punchline of the joke, and he's just moving up on Y, looks like. Okay, and we have this text moving, and man, that's pretty cool, getting the text to move. I always really like that. So what movements do we see? We answered that. What movements use random numbers? So this is using a random number to shake. This is using a random number to shake. And then the counter pattern is being used on this text and on this sprite. All right, so let's finish and let's continue here. On bubble two, when it loads, all right. I know workspace, we're building an animation. So creating the scene, first we're going to make the background of our scene by using the background command to fill the screen with one color, adding shape commands, or creating sprites. So the first thing I want to do, I'm going to go to animation, new animation. I'm going to use a sprite background for this. And let's see. Do, 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 do. What do I want to make? Um... What do I want to make? I need to make a decision quickly here. We're burning daylight. All right. Um, let's make an underwater scene. How about it? I like this one. Yeah, we'll go with that. Why not? You know what? Even better. Sunken ship. Get out of here. All right. Done. All right. I'm going to call this ship background using that camel case. Let's go back to the code and let's get this sprite on the screen. So make the background for your scene. Try to use at least two shapes. We can do that. We'll put a couple bubbles in here maybe. So into the sprite drawer, let's grab our sprite here. I'm going to call this BG because it's my background. I'm going to match that variable label. Let's choose the ship background. And then we need to draw that onto the screen with our draw sprites block. Let's run it just to make sure. There it is. It's working beautifully. And then let's get a couple of shapes on here. And if I want shapes to appear, let's do a no fill, stroke color white, get a couple of bubbles in here. Just to satisfy that uh, two shapes, adding shape commands, two shapes, at least two shapes. And we're going to use ellipses to get circles in here. We're going to make those pretty small, so like maybe 20 by 20 for that one. And we'll do another one. We'll just copy this, Control C, Control V. Uh, we'll do uh, 25 by 25, just make it a little bit bigger. I don't want it to be at 200, 200 right in the middle. Uh, let's put a bubble up here. So that's 3467. Oop, oop, 34, tab, 67. And we'll put another bubble kind of near it, uh, right next to it, right here at 5093. You know what? I'm going to make one more. Control C, Control V, just to go for gusto and reset run. We're going to put this last one down here at 36140. Make that one 1515. There we go. There's our bubbles. All right. We've got our sprite background, and we've got three shapes. 
going. The no fill is what is making those bubbles see through. And then the stroke white is what's giving it that white outline, making it look like it's really a bubble in the water. Let's finish and continue on to bubble three. On bubble three, with your background in place, it's time to add your sprites, all right? So add or draw at least two sprite animations in the animation tab. Okay. So animation, we're going to add a new animation. Um, let's see. Fantasy, robots, video games, vehicles. Maybe I can find a submarine. Let's see. Hmm, I guess, oh, I'm getting a phone call. Hang on just a second, guys. I'll be right back. And we're back. Sorry about that. That was like a split second for you. It was a much longer ordeal for me. Okay, so something that looks kind of like a submarine. Um, let's see. Some of these spaceships, I guess you could argue, are kind of submarine-like. Maybe I'll go find one. Let's see. Cartoon, submarine. And we'll go to images. We want this to be transparent. Uh, this one's fun. We'll use this guy. So I'm going to go ahead and save that image. And we'll call him sub marine. As creative as that may be. All right, let's go back. New animation, upload. Where's my submarine? There he is. Open. Oh, it's too big. Okay, so compress image. This is good for you guys to learn. Optimizilla is a good one to use. Imagecompressor.com. Let's upload that file. There he is. Open. All right, minus 68%. Hopefully that is big enough. Download that, submarine M-I-N. Let's go back to our project, new animation, upload image. Let's find submin. Oh, it's probably just in my downloads now. There he is. Open. Boom, got it. All right, let's make that, whoa. Why is it so big? Um, let's hit crop. Okay. Uh, that's showing up huge. Let me, why? I don't know. But anyway, there it is. We have our submarine. Uh, I'm going to add another, I'm going to add some fish. Let's see. I think we know there's a shark, right? Or several actually. Add this one. And we'll add, what else can we add? What else lives in the water, guys? Let's go to, oh, wait, aquatic objects. Of course. Oh, these are literally aquatic objects. It's exactly what it says it is. So animals, maybe we've got sea life in here. Alligator, there's a dolphin. I like the, oh, definitely grabbing that turtle. He's super cute. Here we go, we got some goofy looking fish here. There's those prehistoric fish. Oh, dude, yes. All right, I think that's 
going to be it. Sharks have been around a long time. Turtles have been around a long time. Prehistoric fish have been around a long time. Uh, you're just, you're my turtle. And I'm going to call you Dino. And cool. Everything makes sense. So add or draw at least two sprite animations in the animation tab. And create at least two sprites and assign each one an animation. So let's get these onto the screen and get them where they need to be. All right. So first, let's go with the shark. Shark and shark. Uh, we'll worry about where we're putting him and his scale a little later. Let's first just make sure they're all showing up. Uh, Dino. I know Dino. I'm going to give myself some more room to work. And then what else did we have? We had a turtle. How could I possibly forget about my turtle? And let's set the turtle's animation to the turtle. Turtle, turtle. I like turtles. You like turtles. We all like turtles. All right, there they are. The turtle is ginormo. So let's start setting scale and location for these. So we'll do the turtle first. Turtle.scale, let's make him way smaller, 0 0.2. And then let's put him uh, down here. Actually, no. Let's put the turtle, let's put him right here. So 335.74 for the turtle. And let's make sure that's updated. Good. Actually, I want to make him a little bit smaller. He's just going to be here. Reset run. There he is. OK. And then our shark. Let's set his scale. Oh, I got to get my submarine on here also. I'm forgetting about my submarine. All right, shark scale 0 0.3. We'll have him be a little bit bigger than the turtle. OK. We'll just leave him there for now. And then my whatever kind of this Loch Ness monster kind of guy here, uh, let's set his scale. I want him to be pretty big still. Dino scale. Oh, not dino scale, but dino scale and 0 0.7 maybe. That's good. And then we're going to put the submarine in here as well. I'm going to put the shark kind of way down here. He's kind of scanning the bottom of the ocean for food. So let's put him at 57,372. There's my shark right at the bottom. And then let's get our submarine on here. Can't forget about the submarine. We'll get him above everyone else. Sub, just to make it simple. Sub. Our submarine, let's put it here to start. That's 39,170. Let's see how big it is once we get the submarine on the screen. It's ginormous. Sub uh, 0 0.1. Let's see how small that makes it. Oh, I need to flip it. Or actually, no. I'm going to put the sub over here. So. Uh, let's flip him around. I'm going to move my dinosaur over here as well. So Dino, you're going to go to like 20x so that you're just on the screen. Let's even send you further back. Let's do like negative 30. See if 
We can just get him coming on to the screen. And that means, and then we're going to get our sub to go over here. at 369.172. Actually, no. Hmm. I'm going to have my sub start off screen and come down this way. So sub, you're going to be at like 390. And... Negative 30. Reset run. So he's just showing up and he's going to come down at a diagonal. All right. Let's, let's see. Are we finished getting our sprites on? Draw all your sprites to the screen. Use rotation or scale or tint. Okay, finish. Continue. We're going to add text, at least two lines of text. OK. And it's got to go down beneath where we're drawing the sprite. So let's go to the drawing drawer. And we're going to grab a text block. Um, exploring the deep. We're going to get that up here. So I'm going to start that text at like X 60. Y 15 should work. And then let's change the text size and the color. Yellow's fine. Let's get that up to size 30. See what it looks like. Let's bring the deep. So let's bring that down. Some more, so 30, 30, let's see if that works. Yeah, exploring the deep, that works. Now let's get another text on here. And what do we want this one to say? Um, Looking for sunken treasure, and we'll get that fill red. That should show up nicely. We're going to put that below. Our other text, let's start that at like maybe 20x and let's send that down to like 90y. And for the text size, we'll make it a little bit smaller than the other. So let's go with like 22, run it. Let's bring that back up the screen and also let's see what 60 looks like here and 60 here. We've almost got it. Let's do like 55. I'm trying to get that as centered as I can. Okay, and then on Y, let's, that's fine. Yeah, we've got two texts on the screen. Exploring the deep, looking for sunken treasure. Um, actually, I'm gonna capitalize S, and T. All right, I like how that looks. Let's finish there. I think that satisfies. Yep, change the appearance. Continue. Did I capitalize the S and the T? Did that work? No. Why didn't that take? Capitalize the S, capitalize the T. There we go. Now reset run, and there it is. Looking for sunken treasure. And then the final piece of our scene is to animate the sprites. So we're going to add movement 
Add movement to your sprites, text, or drawn shapes. Include one type of random movement. Include one type of the counter pattern movement. Okay. So we're going to get our shark to move. We need the draw loop. Put that down here at the bottom. And we're going to get our shark to move on X using the counter pattern. Shark.x gets shark.x. We're adding to X. And we'll do kind of a slow movement run. Uh, oh, this now needs to be inside the draw loop as well. Let's pull this back up here. There he goes. I like that. And then we're going to get our submarine to move down this way. So we're going to subtract on X and Y for our sub. And into the math drawer, subtract. Subtract. Sometimes I do this different ways. Back to the sprites drawer, and it's going to be X and Y. Sub dot X and sub dot Y, and we're going to subtract 1 and 1 here. Make him come down the screen very slow. Oh, you know what? That needs to be a plus right there. Show text. We're adding to Y. My bad. That's why that wasn't working. There it goes. Sub slowly coming down there. Shark is moving. We're going to get the turtle to kind of rock back and forth. So we're going to use sprite.rotation, turtle.rotation, math, um, random number, and we're going to have him rotate between negative 5 and 5. Run. So there he is, shaking in his little turtle feet. Or turtle, shaking in his shell. And then we're going to have this guy also move to the right. So sprites. Sprite.x. Or maybe, you know what would be kind of funny? Is if we had the giant monster following the sub. So let's put the sub. Where is my... My submarine is at 390, negative 30. So we're going to put the dino at like negative 90. And... Uh, like four, maybe like 500. Let's do an even number here, one, negative 120. And then we're going to have that also move. So I'm just going to lasso this code, control C, and I'm going to put that here, but change all of these to dino. Dino, 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 dino. Now when I run it, he should be coming down right behind him. And I actually need to get that raised up further. Where'd my text go? My text disappeared. Do I need to also put this inside the draw loop run yeah okay animation let's go in here and we're gonna flip the dino and then we're gonna put him even further up the screen so where's my dino again dino 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 600 negative 200 run here comes my submarine. And here comes the dinosaur. Sweet. 
<laughs> the submarine is like oblivious. Okay, cool. I like it. I think that satisfies everything. Let's finish and continue. Check over your animated scene one last time to make sure that you have included everything that you want. Compare the animated scene to your plan. Make any last changes and what are you most proud of? Let's see. I'm proud of my diagonal movement. And I'm proud of my creativity of getting my dinosaur to follow that submarine. I think that looks pretty good. All right. Drawing, variables, world, sprites, math. I think we've got the rubric satisfied. Three shapes, two texts. We've got way more than just two sprites. We have one, two, three, four sprites. We have these moving diagonally. We've got this guy moving at a rotation, and then my shark is moving on X. I think that's pretty good. All right, let's take another look through the code. So we've got all of our sprites set up at the top, outside of the draw loop, and then everything that we want to appear or be updated, like all of our drawing, right? All of those ellipses for my bubbles, and then my text, the draw sprites here, so that my uh, shapes and my text all show up on top of the that background sprite. And then my shark counter pattern, my sub counter patterns, my dino counter, counter patterns, and my turtle rotation using the random number block. I think that's everything we needed. I'm pretty proud of it. I had fun making this. I hope you had fun uh, with me. And I hope that you have fun making your own sprite animation for your project. That's it for me. I'll see you next time for lesson 15.